Well, thank you for starting this live stream off with nothing but hisses. But here we are! Okay, oh. so, we did do all of your upgrades last time, because otherwise a cutscene would play. Hello, everybody! Welcome to Red Grim Gaming! It's what we're officially calling ourselves. Enough with the pretentious bullshit. That okay. nobody could find. Yeah. We couldn't find it. I couldn't... I, I could not get it to come up... For the apocryphal YouTube Welcome. channel. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. So Last time we were here, you got the shotgun upgraded, I believe. You, oh. Okay, I guess we haven't spoken to him yet. I could swear the cutscene and stuff didn't happen, but I must not have been paying attention. What are you buying? This is the merchant. He is going to be your best friend throughout the rest of the game. You have the ability to buy... See, I thought we did this, because I could swear you bought the rifle. And you have way too much money to have spoken to him already. I don't know. So, um, first things first, back out of this. Go to sell. Always sell me? first. Um, we need all the ammo we can get. All the grenades keep. All the healing items keep. Scroll on down and try to find the treasures. That'll tell us if we've been here and done this already. That's it? Yeah. Then we've done this. Alright, so we should be ready to go then. Come back any time. <laughs> so back the way, back the other way. Then why'd we come over here? To talk to him. I just couldn't remember if we had done that or... Because it's been almost two weeks since our last actual stream together. And... The last stream we did was my lonely stream of Star Wars. Rogue, uh, not Rogue Squadron. Um, just Star Wars Squadrons. Now let's familiarize yourself with the controls again, because it's been a couple weeks. Um, we did change the control scheme. Oh, no. No, no, it's, it's a good thing. Because now you just look with the same stick you move with. So all of your looking is done with the left stick. Your right stick can, like, glance around Leon and stuff, but it doesn't actually adjust his direction or movement. Pulling the left trigger aims. Pulling the right trigger shoots while you're aiming. Obviously, don't waste any ammo. But now when you aim or pull out your knife, you use the same stick to just keep turning and moving. I mean, you can't move while it's Well, up, yeah, turning. Looking around. Pulling my plans. I guess we could put the stream bar on the bottom left, but it doesn't matter. I could swear there was something there. Okay. May the uh, horde fighting commence. Nah! Yeah, he's gonna come. Nope. You trying to do what I showed you? What? No. Well, pull I'm the trigger dying. then and shoot him. <laughs> we love to watch you play, Lily. Why? <laughs> For this. What? What do you mean, what? It's a Resident Evil game. Don't go down like bitches. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There you go. Set off the TNT. Um, you may want to heal, because you're about to die. Let's um. press start. So you have all those herbs to choose from. Um, you could combine two green herbs together. And probably heal pretty much everything. 
There you go. And you don't want to waste all of your shotgun because it, the game does not just give you whatever you need. It can, but it does not always. Very finicky, Resident Evil 4. It wants you to die. It wants you to know it did it to you. Well, you go back to your case, you press start again, and you pick the pistol. Or the machine gun. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold everything! Pardon the interruption. Okay, so continue. Now that you can actually see what's going on. So that's your machine gun. It um, it will vomit those bullets, though. So be prepared for it to not be super effective. It is a... That guy's throwing TNT from the top left. Did I deal with this guy first? Nice. He's dead. You got this. You got this. Oh no. I mean, you can get the axe too. To the face. You keep lucking out with the TNT guys killing themselves and everyone else. Oh! Leon does not have the good hands. And that's all your machine gun ammo. You have seven bullets left. So, last time on Resident Evil 4, we went through the town, um, had a small little, like, welcome party with the locals. You should probably try shooting before they throw the axe at you, just, just throwing it out there. Um, had a little party with the locals, um, they couldn't afford a pinata, so you volunteered to do the job. You did. So I'm like ragdoll. So you gotta get used to the idea of move, shoot, move. I don't do that in regular games. That's exactly why we're here. Gotta work that out of you. No. I mean, you can be a filthy casual forever if you want. Yes. So we've agreed to do Resident Evil 4 as a death for death or chapter for chapter. Maybe even just segment for segment, really. So we're basically just going to watch Lily die, and then I'm going to take over and do my best. Which, um, my best is pretty good. I played the crap out of this game when I was a kid. My, uh, addendum to make this even is I will not reinvert the controller scheme. I mean, I was struggling with it, too, so... Oh, do you need to invert it, maybe? <laughs> you dunce? <laughs> I'm very weird with that. Like, some games I have a really hard time playing inverted, and then other games I have to play the other way. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> TNT's an instant kill. So one of the things you can do is uh, keep tempting them to throw it into the stairs. Any way you can get them to do the work for you. Give it a throw. Extra range. And let's get back in there. Only one green herb wasted. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. He swings. He misses. Let's give him some knivey. Oh, oh boy. Stab. Stab. Trick. <laughs> you can get them to fall off the cliff, obviously, that's very helpful. Ah, thrown weapons. There's some clumsy zombies. Get off! Clumsy zombies with 
claymation heads. Oh boy. I almost got myself killed with that. No, you don't. What's up, bud? <laughs> he fell through the rope. They all do. I mean, you know. 2005, what do you want? Video games weren't that intricate with their design details. Did I mention you can shoot the axe when they throw it? I probably should have shoot the axe. <laughs> you also can't be injured in the middle of an animation, so if you uh, catch yourself about to be TNT'd, just get grabbed. It hurts less than the TNT, and you don't get TNT'd. See the uh, chicken egg there. Ah! Come on! I uh, see you there. Ow, my face! Damn. With the bullet in it. Damn townies! City boys. <laughs> yeah, you can shoot any thrown device. <laughs> the only trouble with doing this method is you get a lot of kills, but you don't get any rewards. You don't get any trophies oh, when they die. Oh, because they, like, fall off. Yep. Okay. That's why it's better to get them down on the ground and just whip out the old stabby stick. That's how it's done. Now we get nothing. Thanks. The one guy I kept on the bridge. But don't worry, you'll get you'll get used to the controls since we're narrowing down our own schedule here a little bit better. Whoa! That would have probably done me in. Like I said. All right, now you've seen how the champions do it, and I pity died for you, so... Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sure. It's my story. We're, we're gonna stick to it. Oh, no. Oh, no! Yeah. This is a save state game. So basically, you're going to pick up right where you left off. Wherever you saved is wherever you're coming back to. I think there are a few places where the game has checkpoints. Its own built-in checkpoints. I would, uh, probably in front of bosses, if I remember right. At the same time, pretty sure they put a typewriter in front of all the bosses. So, that could be what I'm thinking. To our doom! To their doom. Be more positive. You're Leon Kennedy. Look how pretty your hair is. Now remember, if you get a headshot or an under-the-knee shot, you get like a free... Oh, yeah, you need to do that a lot harder. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Knife, knife him! <laughs> Swing the thing! Don't just stand there. <laughs> oh, no. Turn around! Oh, no, you're, you're, you're dead. No! You're getting dynamited. No! <laughs> oh, we're not even playing on Pro. All right, so a couple a couple key control scheme things you probably forgot. One, there's a quick turnaround function. Yeah, I'm so probably just, never going to use that. It's, oh, it's, it's just holding down and pressing the sprint button. I don't even know what the sprint button is. Oh, it's A. Yeah, you just hold A while you're moving, and you'll sprint. Okay, so we we definitely need to kind of... Uh, I guess this whole episode is going to be just us in this little valley and some player training. Ballista! Not mocking his um, language, I'm mocking his repetitive dialogue. If you get them in the shins, you get the big... <laughs> oh, yeah. You get the big obnoxious kick. It's a back kick, side kick. I guess Leon's probably more Taekwondo, so... It's technical. Well, Heel no. kick, it's sort of... No, it was a he, It was a spinning, like, side kick. I'd love to show you again, but they're um, kind of taking care of themselves. Oh, dang it. <laughs> now they're taking care of you. I lived by a hair. Oh, 
Boom! <laughs> yeah, you can't be blown up while in an animation. One of my favorite parts about this game. Such a cheese. Shots to the head get you the roundhouse. Shots to the shins get you the back. And shots to the TNT they're carrying. Not their arm. The actual bit. Dynamite. Alright, he can just... Oh, wait, he's still gonna explode. Ah. Alright, let's move it. Gotta get down in there. Now we gotta get back out of there. Ow! Ah. Yeah, the animations are always set, so you can, um... Uh, you can face away from the TNT and just eat it, and you'll still fly backwards in relationship to Leon and not relationship to the TNT. You won't fall oh. on your face. For It's all about it's all about cheesing the AI to beat this game with minimal bullet losses. Wasting. That thing. I used to be a lot better at it, and in fact created in another stream that I can do this on pro difficulty. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, well you died the same as I did. I kinda was goofing a bit, but mm -hmm. like all joking aside. I don't want to play the game for you, that's not fun. That was, um... Interesting. Just use the chicken egg to stay alive for one axe throw. Get him on his back. I need to make Knife some hard-boiled eggs. Knife him in the crotch. Why? Because I want one. What's up, Forky? Stabby. I mean, it's a pitchfork. You, I don't think they go into people like they do in movies. Um, the metal ones will. You think so? Yup. All right. Fair, fair enough. I feel like they wouldn't sink. Like they, it's just oh, a lot of surface yeah. area. Yes, they would. It's like a lot of colliding surface area, you know. I have seen somebody stab their foot with one. Neat. Die. <laughs> the less ammo, the more ammo we can save, the better. Oh boy. Like this, for example. The abuse of red barrels. Bum. Why are there red barrels everywhere that can explode? Uh, I don't know. Back to those resilient groundhogs I mentioned in the first episode. I mean, I guess if they're using, like, lamp oil and stuff... Maybe? That, that could be fair. There are There are a lot of lamps, and they always seem to be lit, so... Well, you have a point. In the foot! Yep. Hitting in them, the food! Hitting them on any ledge will cause them to dive off hysterically. <laughs> <I'm almost sick. laughs> Thank... Thankfully, he wrung his crotch out on that head. <laughs> and then... Well, he, like, broke his neck. Nah, he's still alive. Doesn't mean he didn't break his neck. Back up, back up, back up. Still alive. Still alive on that little bit of health I got from that egg. Here's some. Is our dog doing something ridiculous? Yes. He was butt scooting. Well, don't let him do that. It's your rug. Oh, I caught that just in time. His butthole was itchy. Yeah. And he's and he can go scratch it on the grass outside. Okay, we're gonna hide in this corner. And let everybody come to us. Boom nuggets. We had a good one. It takes a little getting used to. I definitely don't remember it being quite this awful. But I also played it on the GameCube, which was arguably the best console ever made. I never really played GameCube. It was, I, I would say it at least rivaled the PlayStation 2. 
cutting everybody at the shins. You got shins? Not anymore, because I got this knife to your shins. What? You don't think somebody would die from a knife to the shins? Not immediately, no. I mean, I am just hacking away at those bastards. Oh, I noticed I'm here. Trying. I was trying not to use the shotgun as much as possible. <laughs> he was gonna cut my beautiful hair. Monster! Just one of them. Vendetta, you die first. Nobody throws sickles at my beautiful hair. Somebody is still here. For a bit of player training, do you know how I know that? The music? Yup. Still hear the music. Kind of ruins a bit of the tension, but it also kind of amps it a little when you don't know where they are and you just keep looking and you're like, oh my god, where are you? There's a chest. There is a chest. This is a key item we need to get through the uh, next portion of the game. Oh, that was close. Not close enough. Excuse me, do you have time to hear of our lord and savior, America? America, man. I was going to go with Team America and start singing Fuck Yeah, but... I'm American. I'm allowed to say that. Sure. Not even we like us! We do love... Stop that. That's... That's not accurate. There's nothing to hate about America. I mean... There... There is, like, there, there's nothing to hate about America. Don't hate the place, because it's just, it's just a people, and we're just like Don't anywhere else. Don't hate the else. players, hate the game. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I kind of lost my train of thought, because I was trying to remember where this was. Our yellow herbs. So yellow herbs. What? What pot are you smoking? <laughs> Um, yellow herbs combined with green herbs actually boost our maximum health. So you may have noticed it keeps stopping at that yeah. at the gray stick. Every time you take a green and yellow herb, that stick moves up to the maximum of the whole dial. Whoa. Our dog is schmoozing while I'm pontificating. He just um, like trust fell on me. But yeah. Um, there, there's nothing to hate about America. We're just, we're, we're people. Nowhere's perfect. America is not a, is, is not the worst place to live, and certainly not as bad as people make it out to be. However, I have to say, the belief that we are the greatest thing that ever existed, that's, that's also just false. We're yeah. great. We're great. It's true. A lot of things wouldn't be here without us. But a loss of, but a, that that also includes a lot of bad things that wouldn't be here without us. <laughs> okay, so I survived the weird chasm canyon village portion. Don't even know what that's supposed to be. And I am moving along. Like, people just decided to make their home in, like, a crevice? Pretty much. Just on the... Just on the very perilous walls of a canyon for... I mean, wouldn't you, though? If you had a canyon... You'd make a... You'd make a... If it meant people would leave me alone, sure. That's kind of what I was leaning towards with you. reclusive psychopath. The preferred term is Reclusive hermit. psychopath. That 
That's some pro right there. Yeah. That's that's some gamer. Okay, I should have got that kick there. Huh? I couldn't see him. It's all right. He's down. And I have Mr. Stabby. Right for his crotch. What is with you and castrating zombies? I mean, they're not zombies. They talk and everything. Mm. Switched the machine gun for this portion. Mostly because that's what I have the most ammo for. Pizzetas. Very rude of you. The only time you get a duck. The rest of the time it's a goose. We got dad jokes, y'all. I don't even have kids. But I got them jokes. Oh, that was close. Hidden stuff among these. Um, it's a word for them, but I guess furnace. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting in the zone. Now I'm off like a herd of turtles. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that was close. Probably should have happened. You know what else should have happened? He catches these knives. This knife that's more than singular. Knife. To the <laughs> ass. <laughs> Yeah. If I don't get what I want, someone's getting stabbed in the ass! <laughs> ah, I love Futurama. Of which that was a horrible impression. Roberto. <laughs> Alright, so we got healthy things. Got stabby things and shooty things. Another box of bullies. Pew pews! I like bullies. It's a, it's a cute little name. We can rebrand the word. Because Twitter, as I'm sure you know, has defeated them all. <laughs> By bullying them, typically. <laughs> now they know how it feels. Exactly. What? It's what they keep whispering every time they die. Oh. Okay. Now we jump down here into this random, like, fish farm? I don't know. Why are you shooting the fish? Because... Oh, love of my life. They are free health items. I mean, they're not free. You're paying for them with ammo. Ammo that I barely use. You picked the machine gun. I would have gone with the sniper. Did I? Uh-huh. After I saw the machine gun, I was like, oh yeah, I let you pick and you chose wrong. Shut up. Just kidding. I've used every gun in this game and they all have their place. That's a big one. That is a big one. Probably don't have room for it. And now we get to the fiddly bit. Doesn't fit in our attache case. Actually, nothing will fit in our attache case. It's completely packed. This is what you spend a lot of the game so you doing. You could combine some of the herbs. I could, but once you combine herbs, you can't recombine them. So if you combine two greens, you can't put a yellow or a red in that combination. Yeah, but we want the big fishy, don't we? I mean, I could just use it. We have a little health missing. So that way it doesn't go to waste. You get to live and tell the others what you saw here. About how your lord and savior, Leon S. Kennedy, 
and slaughtered your whole family for cheap health. That's not really a savior, then. You say that. I do. Aww. Beep. Beep. Yeah, it's sad, but they're actually just hidden item boxes. Ah, oh, dang it. I bet he's the one with the grenade. Damn. That's okay. Oh, another one of the exact same puzzle we already solved. Except if I'm not mistaken. That's the brass watch rather than the pearl necklace. See, if you shot the brass watch first, it would fall in the stinky water. Yes, I got that. Kay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not that slow. You say that. I do. I have watched you play video games, though, and I have also played you in Scrabble. What? I am good at Scrabble. You're passable at Scrabble. I'm good at Scrabble. Passable. Good. <laughs> okay, now we get to solve this puzzle. Oh my, how difficult. Good old Resident Evil. Gotta have the least functional lock systems in video gaming history. Get some pistol ammo. Crap. Um, do we want flash grenades? I never remember how to throw a grenade, so it doesn't matter to me. You have to equip them like a pistol. I swear you like missed orientation. And it's a video game. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's only one bullet out. It doesn't matter. Although, I'd have thought it through. Oh, no, it only hurts. It only holds 13 rounds at the moment. <laughs> Not a big deal, then. So we're just ransacking some poor schlub's room. Because we come from the land of the free, which means it's free if it's not ours. Now we're breaking into a secret room. And... I think we're kind of just breaking out. And that was just a bedroom. And now, the fuck you come from? <laughs> This whole sequence should be, who, what, how did you get in here? I mean, we kind of deserve it. We do, but look at the space behind him. Where could he have been hiding? He's immense. You're an outsider. Just remember. And has a painting of himself. Unpleasant to our eyes. He is the chief of the village. Severe consequences. Ooh, severe consequences. What? American, See, what? my existence is severe consequences. We were just born with them? Yes. Now that closes another chapter, so Lily's gonna take back over. Um, I feel like maybe we should make this death for Horde. So every time I get out of an area. Here you are. Leon, taking it back over. Info that might help you. you get to talk to Saucy Hunnigan. There's a religious cult group involved. They're called the At least Los I think that's what they were going for. Los Illuminados. It's easier to tell way back when, like, anyway, I had an unexpected run HD wasn't really a thing. Village. But you're okay, right? I mean, yeah. but he could have killed looks me, like but he normal. Let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Bom, bom. Whatever that means. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. They're more important things. I think they're just living. trying to say we're all people, right. Leon. And, find that church, Leon. and you could be a little bit more open to the fact that we are all just God's children. Ew. Yep. Alright, so. Um I, I love their their uh, painting. Now I guess you could mix two of them just so that 
Always keep just one green herb unmixed. That way, when you find a yellow one, you're able to use it. I like their painting of uh, Darth Sidious they had back there. Back, back in his days when he wore blue. When he was more festive emperor. Yes, Leon. Because maybe they are. Maybe this is a whole international incident. It's like the incident. same painting that was. I you know I'm just I'm just gonna kind of give it away. That is Lord Sadler. The other thing I will give away is you could go back in the room where the chief came went into. You can go back into his bedroom for a little special thing. Oh my. Yes. Getting invited to the chief's bedroom. I mean, come on. Do you not yep. have glass in your windows? <sighs> Lily's very first world. Sorry, everyone. That went well. You told me to go in here. I, I didn't tell you to flub it. I didn't really have a chance. I, excuses. Hello. Oops. <laughs> That's why he doesn't have glass in his windows. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's his house. Now, if you look at the window, you'll make a you can examine for like a commentary. Is she? Is she familiar, Leon? I can't imagine why I say, as if Lily should know what I'm talking about to co-commentate. Though this is the first Resident Evil Lily's ever played, so... Kinda tough for you to know who that is and be like, Oh my god! Who could have seen that coming? Thanks. Ooh, foreshadowing. Um. Foreshadows any harder, it'll be an eight shadow. Uh. Got dad jokes, y'all. Now, you still cannot carry anything extra. Although a fire grenade would be very handy. But I would say... Remember where it is, because you can always come back for stuff if you end up needing to, uh, say, spend some healing items. Not that you're going to need to. I mean, Aww. you've got this. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that giggle was well-timed. They even read books. Ah, uh, wow! <laughs> Leon's learning so much about foreign nations. This is like a children's book gone horribly wrong. That's pretty great. These people eat like normal people. <laughs> These people live like normal people. They read books. <laughs> they even read books. You don't want to see what's behind that door? Um... No. Do it, do it, do it. Spooky streams. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you need to be more on that. Ah! Turn around, turn around. Now just knife him. He has to get up before he can attack you, so until he's actually on both feet again. And you interrupted his private time. Ew, Way to go. This is a gross bathroom. Wait, where do they poop? Hold on, I've never <laughs> noticed that. Where do they poop? Um, there's even toilet paper. Yeah. What are you there just dabbing at the urinal? <laughs> uh, listeners won't know what you mean by dabbing at the urinal. They're going to wonder why they're memeing. 
Ew. Damn. The Let's check the urinal. <laughs> Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. I mean, they don't Have use you... toilets. They use urinals. Maybe they just poop in there. Yeah. Maybe they just bring a bucket in here. You know, drop one and pitch it outside. Like a chamber pot. But it's a bucket. All right, so I would heal. I'm not. Well, I'd use one of the fish to heal. So just click a fish, use. Good. Now you can get that fire grenade. Um, and then I would save the game again, just just because. Save early, save often. That's a old school video game motto. That later enveloped every other facet of life. I mean, if you ever played Sims 1 back in the day on PC, you saved like 10,000 times because you never knew when your PC was just going to have a stroke. Very true. Although you didn't play point and click adventure games. No. Which um, would just kill you for the gleeful mirth of it. Yay, those are good for healing. In the oven. Yep. You know, it's it's foreign custom. Just leave them alone. To store eggs in the oven? Yep. Okay. Hello. Oh god. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. It's too late for it's that. It's not! It, pausing the game pauses the game! Ah, I pressed the wrong button! <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the X button. Oh, give it another go. Give it another go. That wasn't fair. I knew that was coming. And I said nothing. So, shotgun. <laughs> Just gonna Tina through this. Uh... <laughs> Now, my, my personal strategy for them is to let him get kind of close. Shotgun will knock him on his ass, and then you stab the shit out of him. You need to be a little closer. I back up and just get ready to shoot him again. Just shoot. No, trigger. Trigger! <laughs> what are you doing? Blast him! <laughs> Now stab him! Forget his friend! I stab him! I I can't move and have it out at the same time! <laughs> Shoot him again! Oh, kick him, kick him, kick him! Oh, no, no, no! Why are you bad at this? Run, run! No, you're backing up into him! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> because I keep thinking my right stick is look. It's better than the last time you were playing, though. Where you kind of kept forgetting which stick was look and flipping back and forth. <laughs> All right, let me show you how a pro gamer does this. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Pro gamer, right here. Ready? In fact, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be funny about it. Wait, did you not take the egg? I did. Oh, you must not have saved after taking the egg. I'm gonna show you how an idiot does this. Just, just for the benefit of maybe you getting a chance here. Are you gonna use the egg? Yes. Oh, I hate that. But see, it pauses the game entirely. You can take your, you can hide in here and take a breath. Go, okay, shotgun. Now stab him! Oh my god! <laughs> that was terrible hey. luck right there. That was some. That was some Vigo Morton learning to be Aragon shit right there. Ah, crap, 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 crap. It takes a lot more punishment than that. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight him with an egg. I mean, if I hit him with the egg, do you know what it does? It staggers them almost permanently. 
until you kick them. So I could hit him with the egg, deal with the and lure out the other three, and then just kill him at my leisure. Oh, well, I knifed him, and the game went, I don't care. Sure. I mean, I got him, and then it just went, eh. <laughs> like, he bled, but he didn't stagger. Okay, we'll eat another fishy. See, those fish come in handy. Um, let's go machine gun. Face stabs. Oh, yeah. Come on. You kicked my this husband's head off. <laughs> no, now I kicked his head off. You call that an off? This is an off. What are you, like, Arthur? That's Crocodile Dundee. Not that voice, it wasn't. <laughs> this is a knife. It, it's not a bad crocodile, Dundee. It's, it's not great, but it's not awful. It's got room for improvement. It's like Arthur from Peaky Blinders. Okay, and? I don't know Peaky Blinders. The odd chance you get to reference something I don't understand. Yay! I must take it while I can. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to do some reorganizing to the, the, the chest here. For one, I like to have all, either all of my health items or all of my grenades right on top, right in a row. I like to hide my best healing items in the bottom so I don't accidentally use them. Like the ones I can connect a yellow, a yellow herb to, for example. I'll hide in the bottom so I don't use them first. Ah, oh, it's so cathartic. <laughs> all right, let's go. Not all right. There we go. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, that looks like a party. Okay, that time, Mr. Axe Thrower, you totally just choked. Nope. He's an old zombie. He's like, I forgot what I was doing there for a second. Oh, yeah. The, like throwy ones are my most hated because I because the hitboxes are fucked for one <laughs> got like a comma to the face it's just a, it's like a farming sickle though which is what comma are I mean technically but comma are built more for actually going through skin He also had two of them. He had a few of them. He just kind of kept pooping them out and throwing them at me. Ew. It's true. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't, I don't need that. Um, I don't need to waste shotgun. Boxes! Okay, that, every little bit helps. Oh boy. Got axe to the bikes. It's a sickle again. <laughs> Booyah! Leon's got this. Dick shots. Okay, time to show you what a flashbang does. Instant detonation and automatically stuns everybody. Also holds the stun for quite some time, so. Gives you a little bit of freedom to goof around. Chicken pooped an egg. 
can practice my egg throwing. Damn axe throwers. <sighs> yeah, sure, run on up and get in here. Ruin my plans. Ruin the plans. Ruin the plans. I do know what that line means. I don't know if I said that during the first stream in a way. Anywhere that is still recorded, because I had to salvage what was left of our first stream. But when you hear the imbecile, they're literally making fun of you because they're standing behind you. Yeah, they're calling you stupid. Behind you, idiot. Yeah, well, a lot of good it did you. I also love how we got, like, Phil up here hanging out on the roof, just like... Ah. Did you get him? Kind of doesn't look like he got him. I don't think he's getting why. It's like he saw a mouse. Eek! But he's just hanging out up there. Like, look at him. He doesn't even. He just. He's. He's looking right at us. But he's not. Oh. Oh. We got two for the party. Ah! Bye, Phil. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Kind of thought you cut off that. They're burning cops. Yeah, we saw that earlier. This is where the chainsaw fight happened. Yeah, the level design loops back. He was our buddy. He drove us here. So we're just still invading their town. Yeah. All right, so what happened was we did that fight. Everybody was like, oh my god, we hear the church bell. Leon made a joke about them running off to bingo. We can actually see the church in the distance, the model of the church in the game. And everybody went through this door that we could not open after the first round. Now we have the key thing. Yeah, now you're getting it. Look at you. Shut up. Being all smart. Take back everything I said about you. What? What? Shut up. I mean, if we had a camera, that would work. But as it stands, the only means of properly communicating ourselves to our audience is speech. But maybe you shouldn't let nonsense come out of there. I mean, I give you more credit than that. You tend to be funny from time to time. What? Watch your back. <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't keep anything interesting back there. You'll find That's out. Stupid. <laughs> Moving along. Singing a song. I remember some of these hidden secrets. People just stashing gems and stuff. An elegant headdress. I believe it's called a brooch. You missed one. I haven't. Well, I was just doing that first. Then I can head the way out. And then it happens. Got something that might interest you. He just he shows up again. Got a selection. How did he get in here? He's the mysterious stranger, so mysteriously. What are you <sighs> buying? What are you selling? <laughs> so, always sell spinels, spinels, spinels. However, it said. That's why we didn't have the stream bar there. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> I knew there was a reason. I can't see whether or not I'm accepting the trade. We don't need the ruby, the brass pocket watch, or the elegant headdress. Thank you. Everything else has inlays we can upgrade later. What are you buying? 
Now I got some tune-up for the machine gun. Do you want to tune up the machine gun, or do you want to go with a different gun? Um... Or we can buy the stock for the machine gun, which makes it aim a little better. I don't really like the machine gun. No? No. Oh, well. What we could sell it, and we haven't put anything into it. So, do you want to be done with it? I feel like we find ammo for it, though, so... You find ammo for whatever you have. Oh. Notice we're not picking up magnum ammo when we don't own a magnum. Although, I'll be honest, the, the TMP is pretty good at getting us out of jams. So first thing I'm going to do is buy the attache case upgrade so we can carry more things. I'd say the machine gun might save you more often, just because you can spray and pray. I like the shotgun. Okay. Uh, do you want to keep the TMP or sell it for the rifle? Um, sell it. Okay, we'll do that. Let's do that. So, let's get rid of all this TMP ammo. We'll get rid of the TMP itself. Thank you. What are you buying? Buy Is that old? rifle. I actually like the rifle a lot. Look how comfy it sits down there. In its little space. Now, the rifle does not discourage ammo. I feel like that's the right word. Vomits out profusely ammo. But it's skinny. It fits where it Thank needs you. to. You can also buy the scope for it, but I personally don't think it's any better than the scope it's built with. Hmm. Like you can zoom in a lot closer, but what are you buying? I mean, who's not coming to you? Yeah. Is that all? We can up the shotgun up? firepower. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? And we can look at the tune-up upgrades for the rifle. I'd say reload is speed old? is the number one concern with this Thank weapon. You. Otherwise, it does plenty of damage. But it, it does come with a scope. Oh, okay. And Leon, unlike Commander Shepard, has a pretty steady hand. Boom. Curious about how to kick in doors, you just double click the opening the door button. Got it all out of your system there? No. Okay. Because I figure we'll go probably to the end of the next boss and call it a stream. I mean, if Dead that's bar. what we're calling it now. <laughs> Deadboard. No. Deadboard. They drop money and grenades sometimes. They don't always, go. They don't always drop anything useful. But they always drop something. There's a blinky thing. Right? Yeah, those are the blue coins. You remember we? There was yeah. a challenge to get a gun, which is why I didn't upgrade the handgun last time. The rest of the coins are in this area, so we could get them. Go get the blacktail handgun, which is not any. It doesn't have any less firepower than what we have, and, uh... You know, we're uh, I chop you in your shins! So, without wasting any other ammos, which, now that I think about it, should have saved the machine gun and used that ammo, because it's the cheapest. We'll, uh... Pretty sure it's just on the map where all the coins are, so... It's not like we can miss them. But then we get a free gun. It's not inherently better than the gun we have, but it has, like, special properties. Which makes it pretty useful. And if you don't care about the special properties, we can sell it and upgrade something else.
our dog has... I, I don't know, he looks paralyzed? What the hell's going on? <laughs> like, you can always see his front teeth, but he's just like laying there with his teeth out, like sleeping. Just airing him out. You know, no big deal. Oop. Slip shot there. Now if we go around back here, there's another blue coin. Two idiots. Go on, give it a throw. Dead. Boom! <laughs> and a puzzle. A really dumb puzzle that I've done like four times in the last couple weeks. I, I know I did it on the lo- I did not do it for the Lonely Stream. I did it for something else, but... There are four, like, ancient family crests on here. And you have to light them all. But, or I'm sorry, there's only three. The other ones need to not be lit. Ta-da! I don't know why I remember that so easily. But if you want to know the solution to the puzzle, because it's like, oh, well, oh, the family crests and blah, 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 blah. You're in a cemetery. The crests are on all of the tombstones. Resident Evil was not good at making difficult puzzles ever. See? There's the M thingy, there's the S thingy, and the other thingy is on the other tombstone somewhere in there. But we have the green cat's eye. Meaning we can add yet another gem <gasps> to the beer stein. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. And now we're just missing a... It's either blue or... I think it's yellow. I think there's a yellow cat's eye. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, wow, she's yeah. like psychic. Sort of. Leon, did I you mean sort of? We are at the church. At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry. You got it. Because I'm the best at the things that I do, which I is the not. killing of stuff and quipping. I'm basically pretty... Pretty Ash, as envisioned by Shinji Mikami. Shinji Mikami? Who made Resident Evil? Please. Right on time. Fall. That's one. Two. I need to jump across. I think you can't shoot through the four boards, even if you can see it. Boom! All the blue coins. So now I will go back and get the good gun, and I'm going to let you take over again. <laughs> should, you should try to make it more cute. What? I don't know. No. you grown like a... I don't know. The grudge. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I was going to say you've grown like Lurch. I could grow more like uh, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> At least that'd be something. Uh, <laughs> I'm only really good at that because Tina is, in fact, played by a man. But sure. Yes. That's your excuse. So. Tina is played by a man. Did you not know? I'm saying that's your excuse. All right, we got all the coins like he promised. We can get the Punisher! A 9mm pistol. It is ultimately less upgradable than our current pistol. Like, our current pistol gets stronger in the long run. But it has better penetration. <laughs> Thank you. So which gun do you want to keep? And which gun do you want to sell? I mean, we did all that effort to not keep it. I guess... Yeah, alright. Whatever, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> so there goes our old handgun, because they both spend the same ammo. 
Uh, we do not have the money to upgrade, or we, we're not far enough in the game to upgrade the Punisher yet. But the Punisher, as of right now, can shoot through two motherfuckers at once. Automatically. Later, if you get it fully upgraded, I believe it shoots through five. Clean through. Which is pretty useful. Except, every time the Red 9 comes up, which is a Mauser C96. Always buy that. And that's my pistol. So I... And it freezes our stream. I think we're still playing. Yeah, okay. We, like, are the series of unfortunate events with our stream. Uh, yes, a lemony snicket reference. Not sure what a snicket is or why it's so lemony, but... You know, I say I don't know what a snicket is, but I'm pretty sure it's like a throughway between two houses that's covered. Or some some such shit. Totally didn't have a gun equipped. <laughs> Alright, so now... Now I've got you into the progression. Here you are. The control... Oh, wait. I am going to do one more thing before I hand it back to you. What are you doing? Nothing. Well, hurry up. Everything okay? Are they? Yep. Poor boy. Could just be sore. But I'm gonna do one more thing before giving you back the controller. I mean, you could have done it. Die! I just wanted you to see that. Why? <laughs> I just wanted you to see me murder a murder. Animal cruelty for the win. We're American. We're allowed to kill whatever we want. I like to collect all the bits and stuff here, despite all the howling and snarling that's in this room. I think... I can turn it back over to you safely. Most... <laughs> Is it, though? <laughs> I mean, if we don't pick up this stuff now, it will actually be gone. When we... We'll eventually have to come back here for another mess. <sighs> and... Because there's a typewriter down here at the bottom of the stairs, and I figure I'll turn it over to you then. Oh wait, this is a merchant place, I'm sorry. <laughs> totally forgot. Hey buddy! You could probably upgrade the Punisher here. At least a little bit. some rare things on what are you buying? What are you buying? For an audience who can't see, I just licked her in the nose. Because she dared to stand still and allow it to happen. Before you ask, yes, she is standing this whole time. I don't let her sit down. She'd get complacent. Alright, so I'm going to give the controller back to you. We're going to play one last stretch of this and call it a day. Get a little closer. Be like right on top of it. There you go. Nothing. That box doesn't break. But there is some pistol ammo there. And you're going to head back up the ladder we came through. Or 
dog wants to kick our stand, our mic stand. You might want to equip a gun before you waste some flashbangs. Pistol, most likely. supposed to be going um back the other way there was a door immediately to your left when you came up the ladder or er, you're right now you're right too that way that's a door there that very obvious door looking thing no the door thing is a door It is, but you don't have to be a jerk about it. But I think if we close this chapter... We can, uh... Call it a good stream. Oh, there is gonna be a boulder fall, so get ready to tap the shit out of a button. Just spoiling that now. Because they... The villagers have had enough of your American ways and have decided you need to die like Wily e. Coyote. It's also going to give you a quick time event of the triggers, I believe. Oh, no, AX, AX, AX. Ah, oh, you miffed it. It's okay, just go for it again. Now you know which buttons it'll be. Dog's head to poo. Tap, 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 tap. Now be ready, it's gonna give you that AX prompt again. Or the triggers. Oh, good. You gotta hit them both. At the same time? Yes. Oh. Why would it give you both at the same time if it didn't mean it? I don't know. Go, 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 and now it's going to switch to the triggers on you. Yeah, there you go. That's how we get out of casual gaming. We do quick time events. And then we don't die in the swamp. And he's standing right by a boomy thing. Do you see the things blinking behind him? If you can aim at those before he moves, you can totally blow him up. You just need to get the dot to appear behind him there. But not on him, because then you'll just like shoot him in the hand. It was there for a second. To the right, you're. You know. I can't really tell where it even is. Yeah, you gotta get used to that. They do that on purpose, because the game would be way too easy. There you go. <laughs> Loser. Hoisted by his own petard. What the hell is a petard? I don't know. And moreover, what are the exact instructions required to hoist someone by them? Why well, you gotta shoot him in the dick? Why you? I do it on purpose. I have one. I know. I have one, okay? It's a mutual thing of violence. It's just. Yeah. Just. Just. When you get caught like that, just roll it in a circle. I, I find it responds better to that. Rather than trying to flick it back and forth like the instructions actually say. You're really trying to get it my way. Perhaps. Because you could just keep shooting him. I've saved you enough bullets. 
He just pooped another sickle. Yeah, you need to just run right up to them if you want an item. I keep forgetting that I can't, like, move and have it out at the same time. Um, music's still playing, so I'd turn around. Left. Left. That is not your left, but keep going. Oh no. You're less of a casual gamer and more of a casual person. You just casually live. Back up. Let go of the trigger and give yourself a little more space. Ah! Well, you died. Pass it on. You okay? You can always spooky stream another game next spooky stream. I mean, I think we should sp see. There was a checkpoint. You didn't have to. I didn't have to do the boulder. That's what I was worried about. Is you having to do the boulder again? I've played this game too many times. I understand Leon's like angle because it is from his perspective. You gotta understand technically where you're pointing. <laughs> No oh god. Ah, damn. <laughs> you got a snake to the face. It's okay. I've still got this. Apparently it was not venomous. I mean, why would it be? It's just a box snake. There are species. Somebody just blew themselves up without my help. Totally heard the boom. Now we get more of them coming. Uh -oh. Did they spawn somewhere else? Oh, nope. Okay. Time to whip out old Painless. Wait, you lived? What the hell? <sighs> Alright, fine. Eat it! Oh, Eat boot! There's just a blood spot for a second. Yeah, this part's annoying. But the sniper rifle has the penetrating power of whoever it hits. Pretty sure it does not have a number of people it can go through. So if you get the good lineup, like Pro Gamer Me just did, mm -hmm. I mean, you can keep doing your passive aggressive. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing it, they're dying. That's a horde, and I think that it's gonna be how we do this from going forward. Why? Well, I mean, the series is Lily never played. The whole central conceit is to get you to game. Be a real gamer. My only personal distinctions for that, for anyone concerned, a real gamer will play anything. Not necessarily finish anything, not love everything, but they will give anything a shot. Ah! And run up and knife him. Yeah, there you go, you're perfect. Just aim down a little bit more. Still somebody up here. Turn around. I think they're probably coming up behind you. <laughs> Just look for the flying whatever that was. They're a thrower too, so. 
boomies. Yeah, turn around. Oh. Just determined to get it. Walk towards him. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, get him, get him, get him! Oh, ooh, that timing was not on your side, but thankfully... Thankfully you nailed it. That's gonna explode. I know. I didn't want you to walk into it. I'd have felt bad. Dang it. Like I don't want you to feel bad that I'm I'm telling you. I also don't want you to walk into it. Oop. He's in front of you. I just saw a shadow in the in the fog. I'd heal real quick. That's all you got. We'll have to do. Shoot him in the leg will fall over hilariously when they're running like that. Get it, get it. Oh. Um. You gotta hold the. Ah! Don't, don't pull other triggers and stuff. It's only the stick that counts. And if you hit other things, it might just count you as failing it off because you're not hitting the right button. <sighs> Twisty death. And twirl! <laughs> You got this. Shoot him in his old man knees. I mean, that's not doing anything. If you hit him below, well, yeah, staggering animation, so. Below the knee. Yeah, it's just killing him. It's fine. Sweet. Now we have a health saved. Always good to keep one in the back pocket. Now aim for, hold, stop right there. Aim, hit A. Just, <laughs> now. Next fight you go into, you'll you'll have a full mag. You'll be ready. <laughs> Check out the hut. Pretty sure that box has a snake in it. So I wouldn't even I mean if you kill the snakes they drop chicken eggs, but it's not worth fussing. And you could hold, keep the knife out and just cut it twice. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Oh god. Aw. But otherwise you just lose a little health. You could get revenge. He's is shootable. Yeah, hold A. There we go. There's another snake. Snakes always drop chicken eggs. Cheap and useful health. Health item. Now if you head down to the right. Pretty sure there's nothing to the left. This is just an empty space. There might be a health item. I'll be back in a second. Now, if you uh, should be able to save here. Yay! Combine that right now. You don't have to use it. Because it'll still heal some health. <laughs> Alright. Now. Uh, I think there's a save station. Uh, save station. There is a typewriter in the next hut down. And then there's a... Um, there's a treasure you can get if you shoot um, the spot in the water. Yeah! Game saved. What? I hate to tell you this, but we're almost done. I mean, isn't this save station?
It's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna continue my mission.